Hey, what's up guys? There's only a couple days left to do the raid, and if you're anything like we were, you're desperately looking around for a tutorial of how to beat Oryx. Maybe you've seen some, but they leave out some minor details. Maybe you're not sure what's messing up. Whatever the case is, I'm going to make this as detailed as possible. So to start here, you gotta clear out the ads and the nights. This part's pretty straightforward. You're gonna want to designate somebody as your guy to run around the platforms. In this case, it was me, so you'll kind of get the idea of how the relic works in this video. Now, you want to try and get the relic as quick as you can, while the other guys take out the rogers, but I'll touch more on that in the next round. Anyways, when you get the relic, you want to come down, steal the shield from the knight, and then you and your teammates want to focus on them. What we do is we jump up on whichever platform you hit and shoot him from there. Because once you have this shield, nothing can hurt the relic holder, he's invincible. After you finish dealing enough damage, we jump down, everyone runs to their bombs to drop from the ogres, wait 5 seconds and then run in and activate it. Now this is just a lightning round which is actually pretty easy, just run around a platform. Some guys just run up and down the road there, at the halfway mark they'll turn around so they don't mess up the other guy. Now he's picking a new platform and he's gonna hit a different one, we gotta do it all over again. So you can't really see it from my view, but beside the platforms these ogres spawn, one of the sides will spawn before the other. So the guy on the other platform, make sure you help the other guy quickly take out that ogre, and then take out your own. Grenades are really helpful here, especially AoE ones. You just chuck it right on them and it'll kill them right away. So we take out the knight, get back up on the platform. It's important that you have weapons of light and high DPS. If you have guys under 295, then it's going to make things very difficult. Also, after you deal enough DPS and your guys set off the bombs, make sure you shoot him because if you don't, you won't do enough damage, you won't kill him in 4 rounds and he'll get enraged and just automatically kill everyone. Now this part, the shade round, when he makes that big bubble, you gotta make sure you take out those knights up on the platforms. And while you're in here, what's really important is keeping track of them. Like see if you're shooting him, he'll come in sometimes to try and kill people. I just jump up right before he does. You can shoot him while he goes up there and try to find him through the mist. Once you get used to it, it's not that bad. And he'll either teleport to the left or right, so you just gotta keep track of that. And that's pretty much it. There's a lightning round and a shade round. You need to get really good at both of them so that you're confident beating either of them anytime. So now I run on the platforms again. I'm gonna go all the way through just to show you that you can get the shade round more than once. At first, one guy told us it was every time on the third round, and then a different guy told us that it was just random. And then we actually thought that it was only if you mess up and you don't knock him down. But no matter what, you'll do at least one shade round. So just get good at it. It's not that tricky, especially when you guys got good DPS. But as you can see there, we did knock him off and everything. I started running around for another lightning round, but it gave us another shade round. So you'll get a better idea here of how we track them. And I'll call out, like, I'll stand right close to him with the fusion rifle, and I'll be like, where boss is shooting? Or he'll go to the right, I'll be like, to the right! And this is kind of just us tracking. Come back here, get ready from the hip. It's really important that your relic guy doesn't fuck up at all, because if you fall off, the whole mission's done. So it's kind of like a lot of pressure because there's a lot of moving parts. Also this part when you jump down to the night, if you get there early they're going to be fucking you up. So make sure you don't die there. Do whatever you gotta do. You take out the night. I'd say weapons light is a huge help because even if you have enough DPS, it lets you knock them down quicker which gives you more time to get set up. The bomb part is really important too. All you guys have to go in at relatively the same time. So what we'll do is as soon as we knock them down we'll be like 5. Four, three, two, and everyone has to that one. This is the end, he pops back up. You just gotta do a little more DPS to finish him off, then you're all done. Get all your rewards from the chest. Anyways, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. I'm not telling you again What you need is just a slap around To make everything stop and kill the fall when you come back